How's it going, Milk Squad? Welcome back to Nervasi. So, uh, some things happened. I just recorded like an entire episode without any audio, so basically I have to do all of that all over again, but meh. It's still first time for you guys, so that's really all that matters. Um, I already got the, the cup of water. Now I have to go to raisins. I don't know where the raisins are. Um... I, I spent like a half an hour just wandering around, so I, I know where I'm going now, so this time won't take as long, you know, but oof. <clears throat> yeah, but just like an entire half an hour video just pff, wasted, because there was no audio, like, I thought about, you know, putting it up and just being like, oh, it has no commentary. But that's, it's not, I don't, I don't want to do that. I'd rather record it again just because it, you know, wastes my time. Doesn't mean I need to waste your guys' time. Fuck. It's getting crap out of me every time. That is one thing I do like about this. I, I keep thinking that I can sneak past those guys, and it scares me every single time that I try to do it. Cause and they, they get me every time. I don't know how, but they do. There's also a few things, like a few small things, like that, that I'll be going over. Um, and this. Yo, what's up? It is not moving, this is true. That's it. <laughs> I know, great. Really good content, right? Okay. <laughs> I think the the raisins and the the powder are kinda in the same area. I'm not sure. So here's easy cart. So I know that the powder is literally like right here. Not dealing with that. <laughs> I don't remember where the raisin thing is. You know, that's the only problem right now. Um, there's like this huge story about like coffee, and then there's actually getting to the key card thing. So I found out that coffee is kind of like a a side character sort of thing, but it's still really nice because I like him. He's he's like my favorite character in this so far. But like I said, you might not get too much reaction out of me just because this isn't my first time. I, I did play through like the entire rest of the game while recording. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, there isn't too much uh, left for me to see. I did very much enjoy it the first time, though. Um, where is Raisin? <laughs> where am Raisin? Oh, gosh dang it. That ain't it, Chief. I'd like to think it's over by the market stuff. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Gross. Yep, you guys saw that last time. And now we have all the ingredients to make coffee. Now I just have to... Oh my god. <laughs> no. Not happening, apparently. Alright, I'll just go around or something. Mm, no. This guy's kind of weird. He spawns, like, right there. 
But, like, he has a weird range for attacking you. You know? I've noticed this over the billion times that I've seen him. <laughs> Those windows don't seem like they should be holding up at all. Whoa, you actually got everything I needed. I am no master. Ugh, I'm talking way too fast. Underestimated you for a boy. Now just hand over the good stuff and we'll be right as rain. You mean the stuff outside? Blah, blah, blah. Hand it over the stuff. Now then, let's get to work. Hold on, is my mouse off? It better be. Now then, let's get to work. Firstly, uh, I don't really care what it tastes like, as long as it's not just this... Because this is just straight black coffee. Here you go. And now I'm all out of coffee. Speaking of making coffee, I should do that soon. <clears throat> Granted, it's almost 7 o'clock at night. But <laughs> it may not be the best of humanity, but it'll sure bring a smile to your face. Sorry, old habit. That used to be my catchphrase back when people used me. You know, back when it, back in its prime, this place was quite the wonder to behold. Business was booming, people were happy, flowers were blooming, birds were singing, and I was thankful for my place here in the city. But that all changed when the war between humanity and your kind began. Everyone was too afraid to go outside back then, scared they'd lose their lives. Well, they didn't have to wait long. A lot of people died when the planet exploded. After that, everything went to hell. When Nuravasi was lost, people began to lose it. See, the planet exploded, right? <laughs> so how am I here? Like, is this a different planet? Is this just a rock floating in space? That's what I want to know. They started blaming each other for what happened, for letting the city fall. No, the planet exploded. That's why the city fell. Then arguments became fighting, fighting became killing, and killing became warfare. I still remember the looks on their faces when they died in this very store. And then there was nothing. No more killing, no more humans living in Nervasi. All that's left here in Ishani Bazaar are the remains of long dead memories. And a few robots. <clears throat> there was this one guy that owned an old takeaway nearby called Bazaar Fish and Chips. Right next door. He'd always come here to buy coffee. Never any of the computer terminals here. <laughs> he used to piss the manager off something fierce. I still remember the look on his face. I never cared, though. He was great company to be around, and I always enjoyed his stories. He'd tell me about his dreams of uniting humanity and Ethereans together to put an end to all the violence that plagued innocents on both sides. He even split up from his own family to protect them for those who hated that, for those that hated his opinions. I always admired that about him. No matter how bad things got, he never gave up. I'm sorry for your loss. Normally I'd call you crazy for saying something like that, offering condolences to a machine, but thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, if it's alright with you, could you do me one last favor? Sure, buddy. I don't have much time left, but I wanted, wanted to know if my friend made it out okay. He told me that he thought the Emperor wanted him dead, so he wanted me to keep a password. Never found out what it was for, but you could probably find out if you look hard enough. The password is 2821. Got it. And hey, if you find out what it was for, would you mind telling me what it is you find there? I know he's not going to be alive after all these years, but I'd still like to know. I'll put the password on display until you find out what it's used for. Until then, fur boy. Got it. I'll be on my way. It's literally right next door. That door's locked. I'm not going in there. For proof! Yeah. Well, it's not locked, but I just can't go through it. By the stars! I'm gonna turn the flashlight on here in a second so you can really see what... Yeah. What a horrible scene. Maybe that terminal over there would tell me what happened. Gee, there's a lot. Yo, yeah, why? Oof. I wonder if this terminal will explain exactly what happened here. Yes, I would like to use it. <clears throat> I doubt anyone's going to hear this, but people need to know what happened here. Need to know of the Emperor's betrayal. We never doubted his rulership. 
Never asked him what the important questions. We were all just happy to let him lead. That was until he dragged us into a war we didn't ask for. Kill the very people that helped us build this great city. And if that wasn't bad enough, he ordered all Antherians living in Nerevasi to be removed. One way or another. I couldn't let that happen. So I formed a movement to protect the Antherians that could not protect themselves. And yet that tyrant and the dogs that serve him saw me as the monster and turned my family and friends against me. So I kept fighting alone in secret beneath the facade as a simple store owner. It wasn't easy, but it got the job done. It didn't take long for the Emperor to send his soldiers to shut me up for good, but unfortunately for him, I came prepared. Now I lay alone in the pool of my blood, surrounded by the bodies of those that tried to silence me. My only regret is that I did not say goodbye to the one friend I still had left, my little buddy in the percolator. I'm sure he must be wondering where I am, why I haven't come to visit him today, why I haven't had my latest refill. Why? <clears throat> well, now we know. We know why. Oh, you're back. Did you manage to find out what the password was for? I did. What's wrong? Don't tell me it was something you couldn't bring back with you. No, it's not that. It he he was killed some time ago in his room by those that knew the emperor. Killed? I always knew he was afraid that would happen, but I never thought there was any truth in it. What about the ones that killed him? Did they get away with it? Did they go unpunished? No, they died too. All of their remains were together in the same room. And those pricks got what they deserved. Serves them right for killing an innocent person. It seems you really cared about you, Kofi. He said he regretted not sending you one last goodbye. If it's any consolation, I say you made the last moment of his life a happy one. Look, I don't have a lot of time left, friend. I've been running on fumes for a while now. If I stayed dormant, I could have been active for a couple more years. But then I would have turned out the same as everyone else that lived here. Dying a slow and painful death, not ever knowing if things were ever going to get better. You changed that today for a boy. Despite the dangers, you went out of your way to help me. Went along with my selfish request that, and that made me happier than I've been in years. Now shutting down doesn't seem like a scary experience anymore. Shutting down? What do you... You're smarter than you look for a boy. I'm sure you know what I mean. I'm sorry if there's anything I can do to help. I would be more than happy to do it. You've done more than enough, friend. More than that uptight bigot Aeon ever did. But there is one more thing I'd like to ask of you, Antherian. If you'd allow it, of course. And what's that? Can I ask for your name? Mira. My name is Mira. Mira, huh? Pretty catchy. Well, thank you, Mira. I... Kofi? May the stars watch over you, Kofi. Let your journey through the next life be a pleasant one. Um, I want to be very clear about something. I, so you, you don't actually have to do anything with Kofi. You can just never turn him on. You can just ignore him or just not even, you know, go in there. You, you don't even have to do that. He's like, from what I know, just side character. So, if you, you know, choose not to go in there, <clears throat> you could basically just, well, like he said, let him die slowly and not ever know what's going to happen next or if anything's ever going to get better. That's, that's kind of sad. You better activate him. You better do it. Don't you dare skip him when you play this game. Coffee is best boy. I think the next place... Oh my Jesus! Oh my Jesus! Alright. I didn't save in a minute. Alright, hold on. 
Is this it? No. I saved a lot. Um, if I remember correctly. <sighs> Hi. Yeah, him. <clears throat> Which I'm, I'm sure I don't remember correctly, by the way. <laughs> find it eventually. It's not here, though. Because this is, like, the far, far left corner of the map, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I need to go... Like, around. It's weird. Yeah, because he's there. I feel like it's a lot easier once you know what you're looking for. You know? Now I'm looking for the daycare center. Because I know that... Oof. It's up there. Okay. Got it. Oh yeah, there's also this area, but... Uh... I, I didn't really understand it. I think that's one of those things that you have to, like, you know. I finally found the cinema. Ah, itchy. It's not in here. I'm sorry if, if like, I, I don't want to do... <laughs> any of like the small stuff also uh yeah this area uh, i don't really want to do any of the small stuff again just because there's a lot if you want to go look at all the small stuff you can do that yourself i am once again leaving the link in the description please please go play this game it's it's good i promise <laughs> that sounds so desperate <laughs> uh, anyways <clears throat> it's a terminal of some kind. Would you like to use it? Yes. Yes, I would. We still haven't gotten any word back from Emperor Ashani or his men. It's been almost a month now and people are getting worried. We've got maybe a month at most until our supplies run out. Until then, we ha we'll have to keep managing our food carefully. Oh, and I'll still need to find the key for the chest here. Manny probably left it back in his apartment at Lotus Heights. It won't be long until... And what is all... I apologize for the untimely interruption, Mr. Bengal, but you and your employee services are required. Required? What are you talking about, Aeon? The Emperor said he was sending a team down to our location, not you. Protocol demands compliance, Mr. Bengal. Failure to do so may result in unpredictable and unnecessary occurrences. Aeon, stop. What are you... You are not safe, Mr. Bengal. Not human enough to survive under these conditions. You must be brought to perfection. Oof. Um, by the way, there is another part to this. Uh, if you are looking for secrets whenever you're playing this, there is like a whole nother story right here. It continues in the apartments. Not at the something heights, but it's in the, I think, room apartment 01 or something like that. Anyways, I'll be back.
Lotus. Elevator's out, can't use that. Gotta go up the ladder. Oof. I will read this, though. This book looks old. Would you like to read it? It's been quiet here the past few days. We've been done and well enough keeping the crazies out. But seems like they've finally taken the hint that Lotus Heights is not theirs. Air has been restless for the past few days, though. When I asked what's wrong, she said that Aeon's been on her back for over a week now and won't stop harassing her. Why would Aeon be concerned about the matters of our little home? Are those Brahmins on, up top sick of him already? Well, as far as I'm concerned, we're family and we can take care of our own. We don't need protection from a machine that seems intent on... And that's it. <clears throat> you can probably imagine what happened. I'm not going in there. I know what happens in there. Don't think you can trick me. <laughs> There's that. There's this. Like I said, I'm only doing the, the big stuff. As much as I would love to do everything, I can't. <laughs> I just don't have time. It's a terminal of some kind. Would you like to use it? Yes, I would. If anyone is hearing this, my name is Ira Patel, and I was the estate manager for Lotus Heights before Nerovasi was lost to us. A few days ago, I was informed by Aeon, the city's artificial intelligence, that we would need to submit a mandatory health check. When I asked why, he wouldn't give me an answer and told me that the Emperor himself gave the order and he expects an answer soon. I don't know who he's trying to fool, but we are not leaving our home at the hands of these crazed lunatics outside. If the Emperor Ashani wants my answer, he can damn well come in person and get it. I won't sit here alone and let my loved ones be hurt. <clears throat> my voice is really raspy today. I can feel it. I think there's like a bloody toilet in there. Other than that. Yeah. There is, there's a lot this game a lot more than I was expecting for a, a demo you know you usually you don't expect an hour and a half out of a demo <laughs> you know <clears throat> uh, where am I going next oh right 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 Step, 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 step. My eyes are really itchy. Heck yeah. What is this? La Talanda key card. Nice, this must be one of the key cards the clubs was talking about. I should be able to get deeper into the city with this little thing. We are very, very close to the end, if you're wondering. Which is why I'm not skipping around, because I did that a lot <laughs> in the last video. Not the last video, but the video that isn't getting put up. I did that like a lot, because there was there, there was a lot, you know. <clears throat> um. Could be wrong about the. Yeah, there's this. My dearest Annika, if you're reading this, I am no longer alive. I know this will be extremely hard for you to take in, but know that this isn't your fault. Ever since I've started working on that vile project, my life had been falling apart. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, and even something as simple as going outside was too much for me. Everything I did kept reminding me of those poor people. How could I live my life as normal? when I help to take theirs away. Please, whatever you do, don't let our children make the same mistakes as I did. Teach them to be kind, to follow their man, and know that I will always love you no matter what. So, like I said, a lot of small stuff. In each one of these rooms, by the way, <clears throat> 
There's just there's stuff like that everywhere. I think I already went in there. Yeah, I already did both of those. Was that like the second episode or something? This is a device that's likely to be used to open the gate to Latalanda. Yee. Finally, another safe room. Let's just take this and... There we go. All done. And it's just like the safe room at the very beginning. Finally, some peace and quiet. After what I've been through, I think I've earned it. Uh, Clovis usually calls me around this time. I guess he's busy at the moment. Anyway, I should get some rest. Something tells me it's going to be a long day tomorrow. Oh, it's because I didn't apologize to him. Okay, so there is an option to apologize to Clovis, which gives you a... Mira says something different. Um, Clovis doesn't say anything. He still doesn't say anything. Um, but Clovis says, or Mira says something different about, like, I really hope he's okay, hope nothing happened. So that's kind of neat that there's already, you know, choice making involved in this. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, that was Nervasi. Uh, the Ishiani Bazaar demo. Just the demo. Um, I think this was the third, third level or something like that. A really long third level. Uh, I, I hope to see a lot more of this game in the future. Uh, I might not play all of the demos. I probably won't. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna wait till the whole thing gets finished and wait till like the the whole game's, you know, put together, right? And just record the whole thing in, not in all, in one video, obviously, but, um, in one series. Uh, I, it's really good, bleh. sorry, <laughs> really good game. Um, there was, uh, a little bit of problem that I did have when I was recording this video the first time, where I, I couldn't really find my way to the next area, you know? It was really hard to try and figure out where I needed to go next, especially after Kofi, Kofi's thing, you know? Um, mostly because, like, he just kind of deactivates, and there's nothing really telling me, hey, you need to go to the, um, you need to go to the theater, you know? Maybe there was something, and I just didn't realize it, but it wasn't something that was in main dialogue. It was probably something that I had to look for that was in one of the voice recordings or one of the email things. Um, personally, I don't really like that in games. Um, I think it makes it a lot, a lot easier when you put certain... I, I like the whole exploring, you have to figure it out yourself sort of thing, right? But I didn't like... Uh, what I thought made it a lot harder for me, and also took almost an extra half an hour just to wander around and try to poke at everything, you know. Um, I feel like maybe there should have been something maybe that Kofi said, or something like that, or maybe not what Kofi said, but maybe something like a voice recording that was more in your face, you know? Something that's more in your face, but not like directly telling you, hey, you need to go here. More of like, you have to read this whole passage and at the end of the passage it says, oh, and by the way, the only card to get there is, um, you know, in the theater. In which case, when you get to the theater, it does tell you that the key to the box is in the apartments, right? Or at wherever it was, it tells you exactly where to go. 
something something like that you know rather than just having to <laughs> spend a half an hour just screwing around trying to figure out what to do other than that I love this it's a great game I, I got spooked every single time I tried to walk past one of those guys it kept me on my toes the whole time. I was always waiting for something to come around the corner and get me or something like that. It really kept up with, you know, the fact that it it is still a horror game. And it's not just a story. The story was the story definitely was like if you go through all of those readings and recordings, it's great. There's so much there. And there's so much to read, there's so much, not really so much to do, but there's a lot of lore. Like, small little bits. And I really enjoyed kind of trying my best to follow along with those. Uh, anyways, if you like the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe. If you want to play the game, it's going to be right down in the description. I will see all of you in the next video. I'm going to go grab a glass of milk.